In this tutorial, we're going to take the album of pictures that we have organized in sequence, and we will then open up the iMovie app and begin moving the pictures from photos into iMovie to create our film. So this is the first step of creating our documentary style film called A Digital Story. To begin, click on the purple star called iMovie in the dock. It will bounce, showing you that it's opening and loading. Give it a moment. The screen should look something like this to begin. Let's describe what you've got here. Um, over here you have a media library in this top left area, and you have some uh, different tools that, you, that we'll get into using later here. Over here in this top right area, you have a preview window with various tools to edit the specific pictures or sounds that you're using at that point in time. Down in this bottom gray area, this entire row, this is called the timeline. Um, this little bar right here is pretty important. It, it controls the zoom of your timeline. I would set it to about the middle and leave it there for now. I'll explain more about that later. Now that you understand the layout, to begin, what we want to do is go to this top left corner where it says Projects. Click on that, and this forces iMovie to ask you to give your project a name. Put your class number, in this case I'm going to use 8-1, and put your last name because it will keep your project for your class separate from the other classes that are also using this same iMac that you're using click OK. You'll now see a blank project here with your class number and name under it. Double click on it. Now you're back into your project, but now it has your name in the top center. You always want to check when you open up your project in iMovie that it has your class number and your last name, making sure that you are working with your project and not someone else's. Okay, so to begin, we want to find our photos. Our photos are in the Photos Library, so we click here where it says Photos Library. Then go right here where it says Years, or it may say something else. You click here and you go to My Albums. This will show any albums that have been stored in the Photos app. There's mine right there, it says 81 Kenny. So I double click on that and it shows me all of my pictures that I put into the Photos app and sequenced in the last step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one picture and then press the command key which is on the left and right of your spacebar and then hold down the command key and press the letter A. It will select all of the photos from your photo album that you created in the last step. Click and hold and drag. You'll notice that it has a little number. Drag it down to the timeline and let it go. Now again, make sure this little bar is set to somewhere around the middle. If you set it all the way to the left, it won't give you an accurate view of what you're doing. If you set it all the way to the right, it'll zoom out too far and it will waste your time. You'll have to go down here and scroll a long way to find what you need. So keep this zoom slider about in the middle. That's about where we want it. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over. We can now see every picture in our timeline. Now your pictures should be in sequenced order from the first picture here, second, third, fourth, and so on, all the way to the end of the film. If they're not, you, let's say one just happens to be out of order or you changed your mind and you want to switch the order of a picture. Click on the picture that you want to move, hold down your mouse key, and then move it to the position where you want. You can move it wherever you want and change the order at any time. Now that you've got your pictures in your timeline, you'll notice as I move this playhead, this white vertical line with a triangle at the top, if I click on the triangle and drag it across, you'll notice over here in the preview area, when I grab the playhead and I move from left to right, the preview window over here shows the film progressing through from beginning to end. All right, let's move on to the next step. 
We're going to now use transitions. Let's click on the word transitions right here in the top left area. There are 24 transitions that can be used in your film. A transition is a tool used to change from one picture on the screen to the next. One of the most common that we see used in television, broadcasts, and movies all the time is called a cross dissolve. So you click on a transition and drag it and put it between the two pictures in these empty black slots. We're also going to use a very common transition at the beginning. We're going to use a fade to black at the beginning where it fades in from black and we're going to use a fade to black at the end so it fades out. In your entire film you have to pick at least five different transitions from this selection and use them in your film. There must be a transition between each picture. Also, what you're going to want to do is change the duration of each picture on the screen to about somewhere between 6 and 10 seconds. It can always be edited, but having a longer duration helps you work with the pictures a little more easily. They become more manageable if, you, if they're on the screen a little bit longer. You'll notice right here, when I click on any picture, it shows me how long each picture is going to be on the screen. Right now it says 4.0s, meaning seconds. Right here is 3.5s, because the little transition here, which is on the screen for one second, eats up a little bit of the time that each picture is shown on the screen. So go through and change the duration of each picture to between somewhere between 6 and 10 seconds. Doesn't have to be exact. We'll edit them later when we add our narration.